What are you doing? Good morning. Oh my gosh. How are you? I'm going to meet doing? some people today for the first time. I want to make a good impression. Where's my teeth? You have hillbilly teeth again. I have hillbilly teeth. So good morning, everyone. Good morning, it's day two. Yeah, day two of KetoCon yep. Austin 2019, day three of our vlog. Yes. You don't have hillbilly teeth anymore. It, they washed off and now they're just pearly and white, maybe a little lipstick on them. Do I have <laughs> lipstick on? No, they look good. So obviously Rachel was brushing her teeth with the Redmond Real Salt. It's still weird after 42 years of brushing my teeth with something that foamed up. Yeah. It's weird because it's just, there's no foam. Yeah, it doesn't foam, but it does make your, te your teeth feel really good. It brushes them really well. It mm -hmm. cleans them really well. And I think we should give some away. Yeah, so we actually are going to be meeting with Redmond Real Salt a little later on to help them launch a very special announcement regarding all of their different products. What, what? And they did give us some of this to give away so we're gonna give some away what do you want to do on the bottom of this hillbilly teeth yeah hillbilly teeth anybody who comments hillbilly teeth we will give away some toothpaste i'm not quite sure how much we'll find out when we get there we'll let you guys let know later on in the video now not all of them have charcoal so no. we won't if you want the charcoal one, we can give you the charcoal one, but not all of them have charcoal. So no, some of them will be like You don't lighter. have to have hillbilly teeth, but you ha can have good clean teeth without all the chemicals from like things like Crest and AIM and all that other stuff. And it's weird, because all that stuff goes in your bloodstream. Yep. So we are going to head over to the conference. We're running a little late because we got so much stuff yesterday. I mean, how much stuff? We look at this. a lot. Take a look at this. So we've got this, this bag, which is, look at this. Can you lift that, Rachel? Sort of. Like, so this bag, which is very heavy. It's got to weigh like 30 or 40 pounds. And then we have this bag over here. Don't look at our messy room. Wah, wah. So can Tons you see it? Of, we just bought so much stuff. Yeah, so we bought a whole bunch of stuff. So we are going to go to the post office, which is around the corner, and, mail and it try home. to put it all in a priority mail, like as much as you can stuff box. Because I don't want to be like panicking tomorrow at the airport that they're not going to let us on the plane and I have to like throw out, you know, Lancanto hazelnut spread. Right. Because that and ain't happening. Kettle and fire bone broth. No. Yeah. So we're going to go ship it. And this way ship we don't it. have to deal with how much does it weigh on the plane? And then we can go buy more stuff today. Yay! So so we'll check in with you guys a little later. So we went to the post office, we got everything dropped off and it's on our way back to our house. And the great part is it's actually gonna be there Monday, so. And we have more room. We have more room. There's more room for activities. Yeah, and this way we don't have to worry about, cause we have like bone broth, we had a lot of toothpaste for the giveaway. And like, I was worried that the airplane was gonna give us a problem, you know, at the airport with trying to take that stuff, even checking it. Yeah, I was so. worried that we were gonna be over. And then like, I'm not throwing away like bone broth or cake batter mix or like right. all of this like delicious snack. And the funny part is we shipped two boxes priority mail home and I think it was still cheaper than paying the over the weight limit on yes. the airplane because uh, the bottom line is these airplane fees have gotten insane. Yeah. $30 for carry on. You know. They're like buying like Froyo, yeah. right? Like you get to the, the, you put all your toppings on and they're like, that'll be $72. And you're right. like, what happened? Cause it's like by the pound and yeah. It's heavy, so. So we are gonna head on in for day two of the conference, but I did wanna say, like we're gonna try to talk to a bunch of different vendors. We're gonna help uh, Redmond Real Salt make a very special announcement. I Yay! cannot believe that. I'm so excited. And then tomorrow, we're gonna try to meet as many of you guys as possible today. But if any of you guys are here, you're obviously gonna be seeing this Sunday morning. I'm probably even gonna release it like very late tonight, like midnight tonight. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be seeing this Sunday morning. If you are here at KetoCon, please come find us. We would love to do a live subscriber of the yes. week. Yes, wouldn't that be awesome? So, and if there's multiple of you, we'll do like one this week and one next week and maybe one added in. But or subscribers. Be, or subscribers, yeah. But we would love to be able to just talk to some of our subscribers. In person. And put it in a video so that some of you guys can see some of the other subscribers that are watching because you exactly. guys really are. 
like a family. Serious. And we can have keto on the couch hotel room edition. Yes. And for all of you who have already been commenting on the peak yogurt, I am going to go try to uh, hook up with them and get all of those questions answered. I know somebody asked if it gets shipped to New York, which I'm almost positive it does, but we will get the answers to all of those questions for you guys. And uh, we'll let you know in one of the videos or put it on our Facebook family group. So I was just thinking that our hotel room attendant is probably right now, as we are walking into KetoCon, getting the scare of her life. Why? Because half of my purple hair dye came off on my towel this morning. It seriously does look like I murdered somebody and in the room. And it looks like she's walking into a crime scene. So we would just like to publicly apologize to the Marriott hotel room attendants. We better tip very generously because she's gonna have some punitive damages. This is Louis Armstrong, right? Yep. Armstrong. He is the owner of Killer Creamery. Which and we're we here love. with them and you guys know this is like our favorite ice cream. And they just announced they're actually lowered the erythritol so the total carbs are going down okay. by a significant amount, right? Mm -hmm. It was yep. like four total carbs. So yep. I should be able to yeah, get bigger scoops. You can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, he's got a new product coming out. I wanted to let him tell you about this a little bit. Get it up in the shot here. So it's a blacked out ice cream and it's kind of a long story, but a killer whale is our logo. So we've always yes. wanted to support killer whales being the Pacific Northwest like we are. And we ended up actually doing that. So we're partnered with the Raincoast Conservation Foundation and we'll be selling this ice cream here, which has activated charcoal and the ice cream is actually black too. Oh that is cool, uh, I can't wait for that. Exactly, so National Orca Day is July 14th. We'll start promoting this online, you guys can get it. And the proceeds will be going to that group to support killer whale protection and research. I love that. Well, that's Pretty cool. Amazing. Yeah. So guys, we will let you know as soon as we find out about it and you'll be able to order it. Just look on our Facebook and our Instagram and stuff. And obviously you'll still be able to use the code 2 crazy Ketos for 10% off. So thank you so much, absolutely. Lewis. And thank you for this incredible product. We absolutely love it. Thank you very much. Love it. Okay. Hey guys, this is Mimi. Mimi is the co-founder of Peak Yogurt, and we were just asking her some of the questions you guys answered, so she's going to tell us what states they can't ship to, unfortunately. Okay, so Colorado, Florida, May, uh, Maine, Montana, Nebraska, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Wyoming. And the reason for that is those states require air freight for us and it costs anywhere between $50 and $80. Uh, so it's more than the cost of the yogurt and for us that's just not sustainable. So right. One well, we're just we going to have to get you there. into our local stores. Maybe we can get you hooked up with Publix. That would be great. <laughs> so, Florida. So also, what stores on the West Coast are you going to be in? We're going to be in Whole Foods Northern California. Okay. Launched, uh, Gelson Southern California. Um, a lot of smaller stores in the Bay Area. And then in the Pacific Northwest, we're in PCC, um, in Seattle area. And then we'll be launching in Pacific Northwest Whole Foods in January 24th. So like mid to northern West Coast? Uh, all up and down the West Coast. Up and down the West Coast. Yeah. So awesome. basically it's time for us to move. Yes, we have to move. What's up guys? I am here with John Hart, the owner, the creator? Yeah. And creator of Keto Bars. This is the original one. I remember there was nothing other than Keto Bars when I first started Keto. And yep. you would Google, couldn't find anything. It was Keto Bars or Quest Bars. Yeah, That's you're right. all you yeah. had your choice for. And it came in a little Chinese box. Yeah. And uh, and it was like almost impossible to get out of the packaging. Well, they've redone the packaging. Oh, Do you have no, a box? Though? What's the box look like now? This is the look, full retail box look here. Look at this box. We're all grown up now. <laughs> Guys, this is still my favorite. This is the one that I have to be careful with because I can't control myself. I have to hide them in the freezer and then find them six months later. So guys, I was just talking to John. Watch in the next couple weeks, we're gonna do another giveaway. We're gonna yep. give away a whole box of these. So I lost 70 pounds right after college by going on keto. And I was like looking for a snack and there was just nothing, no keto products. But this is back in 2012. Um, I literally bought the domain name ketobars.com, started working on a product, and launched in 2014. Um, so now here we are, five, over five years later, and of course a bunch of competition and stuff now, but you know we have five years of like customers that have been with us. And, yeah. All right, let's do this. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get a face tattoo of Keto Bars so that I can get a free box, and we're gonna give it away to you guys. I haven't. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Temporary tattoo. We're actually getting. Will this be a facial improvement? We'll find out. <laughs>
We should have done it nice. on the top of your head. Oh, that would have been good. What do you got a bald head for if you can't use it as advertising space? So we've been putting it on top. We have it on top of his head. Awesome. Next door, a keto chow. John, you didn't say that was an option. Show them. Hey, where? <laughs> you just tell me where you want it. So. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to hold it down. They got it over That's there on okay. their head. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? That's a way better idea than the G-string option that I was thinking. Right above the right butt cheek. All good. <laughs> All right, you want me to do the big reveal on camera? Yes, let's what? see this. All right. All right. How are we doing here? There you oh go. my gosh, right. you're so cute. What was that movie with, like where you got the tattoo on the back of the head? The, where he was an assassin? I hope. Hitman? Hitman. So, right, John, do I get another box if I go Hitman oh, style oh, on the awesome, back of my yeah. head? Absolutely, and then we'll go on a murder spree. That would be a great idea. That's exactly there you go, the that's the Hitman. Oh, the hell's going back of the neck? That's exactly okay, the time. tone he wants to strike. Okay, okay. Ready? Yep. Are we recording? Yes. All right, look at this gorgeous woman, Rosie. So Hi. this is the person, my new best friend, that is made <laughs> the apple pie, Rosie's apple pie, which is freaking delicious. From like, Grapau. crazy bad. Can we have a Grapau? Grapau. Grapau! <laughs> Kapow! You have the best name you, ever. Oh, oh my you. gosh. So we're going to pick up the other flavors while we're here and do yes, a review of the other flavors. Because the lemon almost blew my face off yesterday. It was so <laughs> delicious. Thank so you. I hate not having, like, not knowing what is my favorite flavor because then I <laughs> then I can, like, settle. But there is every single one of them is crazy good. Thank you so much. Delicious. We appreciate it. So thanks for making such a good Thank product. You. Thank you. I love it. Mm. Guys, I'm here with Dave, who is the owner and creator, right? I'm, I, I am a partner. A partner? Yes. For Noosh Cakes. And guys, you know how I'm always saying like some of them I love, some of them I hate. I just found the best Noosh cake. Is it Noosh or Noosh? We say Noosh, no. but we had to make it up so you can say it however, however you want. However you want. <laughs> this is the best flavor. This, if you ever liked carrot cake, this is the deal. I loved carrot cake. I was always like a homemade carrot cake person. Dave, this one is awesome. It is my second favorite. What's your first favorite? Pineapple mango. Pineapple <laughs> yes. mango. I'm a tropical fruit guy, so yeah. Guys, you gotta try this one out. So look at the link down below and we'll get you guys hooked up. I'll, I'll happily be his avocado. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Brian, the founder of Eat Almost snacks. founder, Fat not the snacks. founder. Fat snacks. Part of the, Isn't this part the of the cookie team. that you said looks this like is, grandma made you go to the bathroom? This is the cookie that I thought, well, this is a healthy cookie. I mean, it tastes like it's it's doing a job. And that job was help you go to the bathroom, okay? Well, it does not taste like that now. This is no longer grandma's cookie, okay? This chocolate chip cookie is your sassy aunt that takes you to go get your first tattoo. That's what oh, it is. Yes. This thing is crazy delicious now, super moist. Sorry kids, I know I promised I would not say moist anymore, but, but they're this delicious. is so moist. It is delicious. Look at so this did thick you guys double chocolate. This Look at that. Look we at are that. always improving. They're better every month. We promise it or your money back. You can't do better than that. So awesome. So awesome. Okay guys, you know me, meat sticks. Anything meat sticks, these are awesome. They're like mini salamis. You can get them on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below. And they even have a dollar off coupon for them. But take a look at these. They have a bunch of different flavors. They have uh, an original flavor, wine and garlic. They have a whiskey flavor, a black pepper flavor. And then they have my favorite here. It's going to be a Chipotle spicy and smoky. These things are awesome. It doesn't taste like a meat stick. It's literally like eating a mini salami. So it's 6.30, we just got back to our hotel. We were there like all day from like 9.30 in the morning till six o'clock and we still haven't been through the whole conference. It went so fast though. This day like I got know. away from us, but it was so awesome like just getting a chance to talk to people like us that were going yep. to the convention for the very first time. You're seeing all of these incredible products and everyone has a story. Yes. Everybody got into keto for different reasons. Sometimes it's weight loss, sometimes it's health issues, sometimes they're, they're like, already in 
the midst of like watching their health and they're trying to take it to the next level with some sort of fitment fitness regimen right so like it's just very interesting like hearing everybody's story yeah and then when you get to go talk to some of the vendors and realizing that a lot of these vendors i mean there's a few who aren't but a lot of these vendors it's like mom and pop husband and wife family you know like people who were just frustrated that they're doing keto and they can't find anything that fits into what they're trying to do so, so they, they just started something. their own yeah so they're just created something and i think that that is like so precious to be like in the midst of a time like that we're seeing like americans just kind of come up with new products and right. innovations i mean it's incredible right like we got to spend some time with ali from primal moms I and, love her. and she is so awesome and for her to realize that like hey you know i just started making those mug cakes because there was nothing really out there and i need something on convenience and i figured somebody else is gonna is like, like it. me and she's awesome this like so much fun to hang out with incredible families right. i just love like hearing them and and also it's exciting to see them start to like be able to say hey we're going from like our home kitchen to going to a, an actual facility that we're making now like yep. just watching their business grow um it, it's just incredible right and the thing was i mean i think the company that i was most impressed with we're, we, you don't even have them over here. Go grab them. Is was the keto bars? Yes. Oh my gosh. So like you guys saw, we were talking to keto bars and talking to the owner and the creator of them. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I started keto, they were it. They they were like, how did they get the name keto bars? Because there was the nobody else. Do you know that there's still only? It's a seven man operation. Seven man operation. How incredible and is that? And they just changed their packaging. It's super cute. He hooked us up with some more. We're gonna do another giveaway, but not in this video. We're gonna do a complete separate video on the new packaging. But again, just to realize that it's just families building businesses. Yeah, I So you like wanna that. go over real quick because we are actually gonna go on our way back out the door because we're going to have some barbecue. Barbecue. With Keto Chow. I'm so excited. And I think we're gonna be doing another giveaway with Keto Chow. That's another family. Oh my gosh, that's an incredible family. It's a family, husband, wife, six, six kids. kids. And they are the most down to earth, awesome people. Like I wanna buy their stuff just because they're so down to earth. Like, I think we've spent like three or four hours just hanging out and talking to them. I just want to them. hang out with them. And that's what I love about everybody. Everybody is just everybody. like so I want to friendly. hang out with everybody. I think that whole culture is like that. It's just people are just friendly because we've all been through these different struggles in like our weight loss and health journey. Like I was, one thing that was like a very poignant moment to me is I am so used to looking down at the ground. Like, just that's like something that I have always done. I've been heavy like my whole life. Look, don't look down, don't, don't look, look forward. Don't or look, look forward. straight ahead and don't make eye contact. Yeah, because I just assume like I'm not gonna be met with a friendly face. Right. Because I've always been heavy and I always think like, you know, I'm not likable or um, I'm just, you're not gonna find like, favor with someone and so I always like am looking at my feet and you know when we walk through that convention today like I felt like I could look up because there's gonna be a smiling face here and here and here like just a really encouraging you know bunch of people both the vendors and the people attending the conference yeah and let's go through some of the different things we saw real quick but to just attack onto that I will say this if you have an, an opportunity to go to any kind of a keto con, any kind of convito, uh, keto convention mm -hmm. in your area, go. Because go. the one thing what Rachel is talking about, we called our Facebook group Two Crazy Keto's Family. I really feel like everybody here today that we've met, it's like a family. It's like everybody is just super genuine and likes each other, even if it's somebody you've never met. There's no mean girls. Even in between <laughs> like all of the different vendors where I'm seeing like three or four cheese companies stacked up next to each other and talking positive about their competition. Like yeah. where else do you see somebody talking positive about their competition? You don't. So so let's go over real quick because we've got to get out. We're already late. He's going to be complaining. Chris is going to be like, oh my gosh, where are you? You told me seven o'clock and you ditched me. That's right. So 
few things, and these all of these are going to be getting some reviews over the next few weeks. So, like, I'm sorry if we're giving you too many reviews, let us know, but we don't want to put it all on the back burner well, either. Well, and we don't want to also be like, well, this tastes, this tastes good because I'm sampling something, but then not know the whole story right. about, like, what's in it. So, yep. And I'll, all the companies are hooking us up with some stuff to do some reviews mm -hmm. and maybe some giveaways. We have to call them back, some of them. So we're going to re-review Fat Snacks. Yep. Okay, because they gave us some other flavors and the flavor that Rachel hated, the flavor that Rachel, you saw, said looks like, it, it tastes, tastes like, like something that grandma, grandma gave me to, go to, the to go to the bathroom. Like they've reformulated it. So, but all of them were really good today. And they said that it's just some of it's like baking the right temperature and they're messing with it every month. Again, these are small companies. Yep. Um, this is a new product and actually we found out, we're going to be reviewing this. These were incredible. They also make a cheese snack, but... Mm -hmm. This was actually created by the guy who created Moon Cheese. And then he sold the company off and with his partner. Mm -hmm. His partner wanted to do something else. And so he started another company and these cookies and this cheese things, and they have a granola coming. But these are like crunchy are cookies. Amazing. Yeah, like yep. the Chips Ahoy you maybe have missing. Yep. So then we also had like keto bars. Again, we're yep. gonna do another one. We're gonna they're gonna hook us up with another giveaway. This was a small company that I, that I loved. Moons Grove Farms. Yep. They're making like candied rhubarb, candied ginger, candied orange peel. And this was incredible. This was candied ginger. And if you like Ooh, spicy, sorry. Mm -hmm. this is good. It's real ginger. Candy just a little bit with some allulose, and it's really not that much carb. This package is three servings, but you literally need one bite. So you need like a half of a serving will satisfy anything you have. Because it claims it's spicy, and it is actually spicy. Right. Last two th last three things before we get out of here that we're gonna go over. So uh, this is a new salami company. These are like almost like meat sticks. It's a hard salami, and available on Amazon. Again, we're gonna do a full review on them. Did we they get some? There was a whiskey flavor. They have four flavors. The whiskey flavor. Yes. Um, what else did we have? Oh, we had a Redmond Real Salt. Mm -hmm. They've got an electrolyte like little pill kind of thing. Which I've never out. seen they're, before. They, they're awesome. We haven't even tried them yet, but we're going to try those. And we have a very special announcement video that we're not including in this. We interviewed the vice president of marketing for them and he told his story. Get your tissues. Yes. Oh okay? my God. He is precious. And then you're going to love the announcement that we got to be, for, be part of for them. And then finally, the last thing we're going to be doing a review on is this is a coffee. It's called Strong Coffee. I like company. my coffee strong, as we well know. And it's like, it's got, I think there's 15 servings in here and one scoop is equal to two cups of coffee. It's got collagen. It's okay. got MCT. It's like, if you ever watch Thomas DeLaw and he says, drink your coffee with all of this, it's got all of that in one scoop. It's not, doesn't hurt that it and Not for nothing. Good. They gave me a little sample and I'm a little wired from it. Yeah. I don't know about you. I can tell. <laughs> So, yeah, we get, we're going to be doing a review of that. So, we are going to, I think, close this video out. I know it's a little early. But I got to get some barbecue. Well, we're going to go eat some barbecue. And I plan on getting fat nasty full. So, tomorrow, we'll wake up. We'll head over there. We'll give a little intro to you guys. And um, since I think the conference ends at like 2 o'clock. Okay. Our flight doesn't leave until like 7. So, we're probably going to go hang out somewhere and go to the airport. Keto on the couch is going to be a little bit different this week. We're just going to find some place. It may even be keto in the car. It could be keto in the car or keto in the airport. So, but we'll do some form of keto on the couch. It'll probably be a little bit shorter, but I'm going to do something so that when I get home, I can edit it and we can still try to get it up Monday morning. Thank you guys for going with us to this convention. Yes. Like we really enjoy just like being there and let us know um, if there's something that we should be looking out for tomorrow. Yep. And again, if you, when you're watching this on Sunday, I keep shaking the table, so sorry. If you're watching this on Sunday morning, it's the tiniest table in the world. Okay, if you're if you're watching this on Sunday morning and you're here at the convention, come see us. Come up to us, tell us, "Hey, can you film my story and we want to find somebody and put them on camera for a live subscriber, or subscriber of, of, the, of week. the week." That would or be a video subscriber of the week. That would be my that, dream. That would be awesome. So that is our vlog for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.